Yo, what up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame and we are back with another video. As you know, Mod to Fame is known for the Hellcats. We got two Hellcats as a matter of fact. We got this one, which is a 15 six speed manual Hellcat. And then we have a Red Eye, which is a new car, brand new Red Eye. As you know, all Red Eyes are automatic. But honestly, what this video is about is the fact that this is a channel that has two Hellcats and both of them are broken. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Let's go. Mr. Two Hellcats. So how is it possible you don't have one to drive right now? Well, uh, as you guys know, for those of you that follow the channel closely, you know that this car late last year, uh, you know, was running around tearing shit up and I, you know, got a little lazy on myself, tried to run MS-109 on a very high level of boost when I'm supposed to be running either Q16 or E85. The car didn't have the injector for E85, so I was supposed to be running Q16. Wasn't running Q16, try MS-109, end up blowing the car up. F happens. Well, that was late last year, cool. So Steph, what took so long? Just to recap, what we did was we ended up sourcing the motor, another factory motor, sourcing new factory heads, had to end up getting a new supercharger, which we sourced as well, which are boys from Joker's Performance. That supercharger, full race port, all of that, that took some time to get everything done, right? In addition to that, my clutch we found out when we took it out was bad. A McLeod, they made a mistake during the assembly of the clutch. They didn't shim the uh, pressure, the pressure plate I believe they said was uh, shimmed incorrectly. So it was causing uneven wear, which is what was causing the car to slip on the heavy load from low speeds. So we got a new clutch from McLeod. So basically everything is new, right? Well, new years, the clutch is new. Supercharger, new use, motor, new use, refreshed, everything. So this car though would have been done. It would have been done about six weeks ago, five, about five or six weeks ago. However, as you guys know, with the current state of things in uh, the world right now, everything is shut down. That includes this business, which is, I'm at right now, which is Intract Tire. Intract Tire, basically had to close down. They closed down for about a week or so, and they are still not 100% reopened. They are doing light work, so that means wheels, tires, alignments, stuff like that, the normal business that they do. But the heavy work, like for an example, there's a, a big motor super build going on here. There's a crazy Trackhawk build going on right next to me, and a crazy GTR build over here. So these cars are all here, and they're in limbo, including this one this one i'm going to show you everything that's done and all that we have to do left and you're going to be like steph that's crazy that it's still here for that but come on let me show you all right so rolling up on the car right now honestly i know it looks completely done and it pretty much is it is completely pretty much done as you can see we got the blower back from joker's performance uh, that's installed the motor is completely in the car so the car is pretty much done for the most part, right? So what the hell, why is it still here? Well, silly things like we have to re-put back on the throttle body. Yo, Stefan, that's a few screws. You could do it yourself. You're absolutely right. I could. <laughs> things like, for an example, we installed a new fuel rail. All of that stuff is in. We installed dual fuel pumps from Four Innovation as well. So everything is Four Innovations up here. As you can see, like all of the assemblies and stuff is all here. The car is pretty much done, man. I'm gonna tell you guys the list of what we got left before we could start this car. And that is install throttle body, do all the fluids, like what you see here, get all the fluids done. I put in the oil, filter, start the car, let it run, drop that oil, put in fresh oil, make sure in case anything thing was loose in the motor, it drops out with that oil. Brother, I'm not joking to y'all. It's like really odds and ends. The other thing we gotta make sure of, so when you do the four innovations fuel system, 
what you have to do is you have to wire it all up to work well with the factory system to make sure it's all worked. So the wiring is pretty much done. It's pretty much done. There's just a couple little odds and ends that still have to be completed to make sure it runs correctly. Then it has to be all tucked away correctly as well. So that's part of the thing that has to be done. This is the type of stuff I don't wanna mess with or do myself. You guys are probably asking, yo, Steph, that's simple stuff, bro. That's, just knock that out. You are right, it is, you know? One dirty weekend, me and my man Vern, we can get that done. That's, that's nothing, like a couple hours we can get that done. However, when you are working, when you got somebody that's working on the car and basically rebuilt the whole car, you want that person to finish it. You want that person to finish it because if anything is off, they'll know where to go look because they know what they did and they know what they didn't do. Whereas if I go in at this point, bro, we can make it past this whole journey, right? We can make it past this whole journey of getting this car put back together. And I didn't know that he didn't do one thing and I go to start this car and then mess up a new engine that I just put in it. I'm not taking that chance. Y'all could take those type of chances. I'm not taking that chance. So that being said, we are hopeful that the business is able to fully reopen. All the employees are able to come back so that the mechanic that did all of the work on this car can complete the car so that I can go ahead and take it and start enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? But I personally, I'm not about to take that risk, man. I done spent way too much money on this car, getting it back together to take any risks. I'm not taking nothing. All right, Steph, cool, whatever. So what now? Now the crazy part is, this is one Hellcat that's down. <laughs> the other Hellcat, bro, as you guys saw, maybe you didn't see, um, Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye. That car, somehow, the diff is broken, as well as the axle is broken in that car. So, um, that's simple, right? Okay, cool, order a new diff, order a new axle. Problem is, the Red Eye uses Demon parts. Dodge heavily regulates their Demon parts. They don't just, like, you can't just sell them off the shelf like that. They make you go through a process where you gotta supply the VIN number of the car. You gotta go through like all these steps to get the parts. Then they don't house them at the regular Mopar distribution centers. They're housed with SRT. Guess what's going on with SRT right now during this terrible pandemic? They're closed. They're closed. So we can't get the parts. The dealership that the Red Eye's at cannot get the parts right now. They can't get them. I'm getting the work done under warranty. If I wanted to do it myself, I'm pretty sure if I got creative, I could figure out somebody somewhere has it, you know, maybe they ordered it for warranty work that didn't get done, whatever. I know I could find it, but I'm not about to, you know, come out of pocket for what when it's gonna get fixed under warranty by the dealer. So therefore, we got two Hellcats that both of them can't move right now. Can't move, can't be driven, nothing. And right now, when you, as long as you buy yourself, you know, you're playing it safe and stuff like that, you're not around other people, it's safe to be out in your own car driving. You know how many driving videos I'd be getting done for y'all if I had both these cars at home? So I'm a little sick right now, bro. I'm a little sick, but the good thing is, that's a bad choice of words given the circumstances of what we are all going through. I'm, I'm just a little like, down about the fact that uh, both cars are down. And that what that means is the content that I need to make for you guys, I can't really make the content that we need to make. So we still gonna, we still gonna get it popping. We still gonna keep it going. This car has been here on this lift for about four months now. Let me see, December, January, February, March. What are we in, April? Yeah, four months. This, this car has been on this lift for four months. And let me tell you, bro, I don't know what it is, but all shops seem like they have the ability to collect dust. I don't know what it is. Uh, it also, it could be the fact that this, this place does so many different things from uh, wheel repair to powder coating to you know all different types of heavy work that they do here. So this car was here without a cover on it or nothing. I'm about to show y'all how bad it is. And we gonna adjust it, we gonna take care of it right now. Cause I can't, I can't live like this. 
My car is beautiful, bro. I can't. I'm, I'm ugh, ugh. So from here, it don't look so bad, right? It don't look so bad till you get up here. Chi thus, brother. For those of you that think that this might be dust, no. This is like, it was dust many, many layers ago that is now like baked on, brother. I rubbed this little spot on a window and you got, it feels like sandpaper. So I'm super afraid to rub this paint in any way with all of this dust on it. So what I'm actually about to try to do is I'm gonna soak the hell out of this car right now. While it's on a lift, no wheels, no nothing. Yeah, windows open, it'll be all right, it'll be fine. The interior got hella dusty too because the windows was open all this time. I got my work cut out for me, hella dusty. And for those of you that forgot, that's right, it's a manual transmission. They got the Barton shifter in it, short throw shifter. So we got our work cut out for us, ladies and gentlemen, today. But when we leave here, this car is gonna be glistening. It's gonna be beautiful the way that it is, man. It, I cannot, I can't live like this, bro. So we're gonna take care of it right now. We're gonna get it right. I'm sorry for leaving you like this, baby. Baby, I'm so sorry for leaving you like this. I know you didn't deserve this. You didn't do nothing wrong. It wasn't you. It was me. It was me, bro. I know. It's all right, we're gonna take care of you, though. I know we had this conversation before when the, when the red eye was here, I know. But baby, trust me, I'm gonna take care of you. You're gonna be out on these streets and they gonna know your name. They don't know your name yet, but I promise you, I promise you, boo, they gonna know your name, all right? All right, girl. I know I'm gonna I'm I'm wash you right now. Damn, yo, even your Diablo Sport tuner is dirty. Even your Diablo Sport tuner got dust on it? Don't worry, baby, I got you. All right, let's do that right now, right now, right now. So in case you're wondering why I'm blotting as opposed to wiping is because blotting is a lot less abrasive than dragging dirt across. But now that we've blotted, the dirt should be loose and we should be able to wipe it without leaving any scratches or anything like that. We've loosened up the dirt now. But what you wanna do is when your car is heavily dirty like that, you wanna keep a lot of water on it because the water will act as a barrier between your paint and the dirt. But this is really bad. God, this is bad. Oh man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Came through dripping, drip, drip. Came through dripping, drip, drip. Came through dripping. Thumbs up on that state, dripping. Hey, bruh, man. All right, so I just soaked it down. Now, I know you guys are gonna say, blasphemy, you let the soap dry up on this side. Ah, don't worry, don't worry. It's better than that, all that dirt that was on there. But plus, look at it coming back already. Come back to me, cheapo, your old name. That's your old name, that's your old name. New name, I come. New name, I soon come and tell you, yo. Yes, <laughs> I am so excited, bro. All right, let me uh, rinse it off now. Um, a lot of y'all are asking, yo, Steph, why did you not use a power washer? That's because I am in the middle of a shop. I'm in the middle of a shop. Where the hell am I gonna get a power washer? And I can't do that in here. So I just did the best that I could with what I had available to me. So let me rinse it off now. I'm trying to get my life back together over here. Have me looking like something again. Pulling it back together, bruh. We are all rinsed off. And now, I'm about to show y'all the cheat code that I use. I use a cheat code, bro. And when I say cheat code, <laughs> bro, matter of fact, bro, I must be like the, I must be like the, the cheat wash god, bro. I am like the cheat wash god. I could wash a car anywhere with not much and nothing, with much, not much stuff. And when you see my cars in person, you always gonna see, they look real nice, real shiny. 
I'm not no detailer by no stretch of the imagination. And this car is gonna need paint correction too. I know it is, it's gonna have hairline scratch, it's gonna have all that from being in the shop for this long. That being said though, I'm the cheap wash guard. So right now, I'm about to do my last special sauce that I do to keep them super shiny, which is spray wax, baby. I'm shaking it up. I'm not letting y'all see the brand because they ain't dropped that. <laughs> they ain't dropped that bag. So, you know what I mean? But if y'all really want to know, just DM me and I'll let y'all know what I use. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, we about to spray wax it down. Make it look sexy, baby. Okay, girl, I see you. Damn, you looking kind of nice, boo. Sheesh. What'd you say, girl? You want me to get closer? Huh? You sure? You don't mind? I, I can slide in? Yeah? I don't know, girl. I mean, hi. Oh. Oh. Shit. Damn, girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. But, what? God, damn, how many dudes you done been with, shorty? Sheesh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't worry, boo. Don't worry, I promise. You're gonna be gapping these in no time, baby. Don't worry, you're gonna be gapping them in no time. All right, guys, so there it is. A completed, clean Hellcat. Man, do I love this color. It's called Red Line Red. As y'all know, the, the red eye is indigo blue. So two special colors from Dodge, the Red Line Red and the indigo blue, some of my favorite colors. And when it's mixed up, when it's together with the sepia, I actually like the red and the sepia together, man. It's, it's a nice combination. I really, really like this car and I cannot wait to get it on the road. I swear, I swear y'all waited long enough. We're gonna get this car on the road as soon as the shop could be fully reopened. Hopefully, you know, there's some talks at the executive level, the presidency that, you know, things might open up. I don't know, we'll find out. But the most important thing is that everyone is safe, that everyone gets to go home to their family, stay with their family, stay indoors. It's the safest thing to do. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that video. And if you did, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss no more videos. Also, make sure you're sharing, man. You got to let the world know the type of quality and content that we making with these fly-ass cars. But anyway, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod to Fame. And until the next video, we out. We out.